Union-organized protests took place around Wisconsin on Thursday to call for a $15 minimum wage and the right to form a union. In Madison, demonstrators picketed outside a Taco Bell where a state legislator called for employees to walk off the job. Income inequality is not someone else's problem. This is our problem and we stand here today to support our workers. After demonstrators filled the fast food restaurant, three Taco Bell employees left in the middle of a shift to join the protest. In Milwaukee, protesters met at the Wisconsin Jobs Now headquarters, where they were then bused to the courthouse for a rally downtown. Here, another state legislator applauded workers that walked off the job and the unions that organized the protests. And every worker that made that brave decision this morning to take this trouble into their own hands, their own lives, and, and, and go on strike. Can we give them a round of applause? Woo! Protests were organized in Madison, Milwaukee, and Wausau. And while protesters were calling to more than double the minimum wage, no one mentioned the negative economic impacts it would create. According to the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, raising the minimum wage to just $10.10 an hour would eliminate 500,000 jobs. In addition, according to a MacGyver Institute report, 7,000 fewer young people are working in Wisconsin today as a result of three minimum wage increases over the last decade. For the MacGyver Institute, I'm Jen Healy.